Hey guys, it's Michelle here from Seaweed Kisses and I wanted to share with you some ways that you can customize your traveler's notebook. I received a lot of questions on Instagram on um, where I got my traveler's notebook embossed and the charms, where they're from and how they're set up. So I wanted to just show the, uh, share that with you if you're interested in customizing your notebook as well. So first off, this is the one that gets the most questions, I'd say. It's the Camel Traveler's Notebook in the regular size. I got the Seaweed Kisses embossed here along with this Hello Traveler's um, um, sentence, words, <laughs> and I actually got this done at the time Midori uh, stationery store in Korea. So I will leave that link down below so you guys can watch it. Oh, nice. Seaweed kisses. And I got it done there. The owner was so nice to emboss this for me during my travels. So, but I think um, depending on where you're from or where you're currently based in, you could maybe um, see if there's any leather shops or um, customized leather workers that can maybe just um, emboss this for you. So that is one way that you can customize your traveler's notebook. The next question that I get are about these charms here. Now. A great way and I'd say a really common thing that a lot of travelers notebook users have are these charms on the front of the elastic so when you have it um, closed like this you're able to see these I think let me see if my other one yeah this is the actually this is the only notebook out of all of the travelers notebooks that I have where I have these charms here now you'll notice that they kind of um, leave these little imprints from the rings which I really don't mind because this is my main traveler like travel notebook when I'm doing like travels where these are for like you know journaling writing just everyday use so I don't really mind it because it adds to the nice rugged character and I got this charm at the time stationery store as well and then this I got on Etsy so if you just look up Midori Traveler's Notebook Charm uh, or Midori Charm you're probably bound to find these and they have different styles but I got this one it was gold but now it's kind of turned into like this brass color so yeah it adds a nice little touch now <clears throat> this one I this was my first traveler's notebook in the regular size well besides the passport I kind of got these together at the same time but this is the first one that where I kind of like customized it you'll see I didn't add a charm to it so right here it's not scuffed up at all but I did add a little charm here and a few of you have asked, you know, how did I add it on here? Really, I just got this red thread. It was from an art journal that my mom had sent me. And it came with this cute little bell and this Tibetan leather charm. It's like a wish charm. So I thought that was really neat. And I just pretty much like double knotted the thread on the edge of this of the elastic so I just double knotted it and then it just adds so I don't really even use this thin one that it comes with but yeah you can do this yourself just get like a string or silk or thread of your choice and then um, you can add that so people have asked if I actually made this part no I didn't make it the thread was already like this and another way that you can customize your traveler's notebook on the inside is to add on these stickers. A few of you have asked if it already comes with it, and no, it does not. This is an add-on option. You buy this accessory. It comes in a pack of these three, and you can place them wherever you'd like. Let me show you one. So my black one, this is how it looks. This is 
one that isn't customized, no embossing and printing, no charms, nothing. So this is pretty much what your leather flap is going to look like. And um, I think that's what makes the Traveler's Notebook unique. You can set it up however you'd like. And I love flipping through all of, flipping, I love looking and scrolling through all of the pictures on Instagram, seeing how creative people can get in setting theirs up. And I think that's why the community is so strong and so large because it's so fun in the creative process where it reflects the owner and um, their personality and their creative style. So the stickers, you could, again, put them however you'd like. This is how I have mine set up. And if you're interested, I will also link all of my setup videos. Actually, I have a playlist. So check out my Traveler's Notebook playlist. It's just kind of easier to go through where it's just literally all of my Traveler's Notebook videos that I've compiled and put together for easier um, you know, selections and viewings. So in this camel though, this is, you know, all of these Traveler's Notebooks I have are like unique. They're not all set up the same way. This is the only one that has the sticker. Um, this is the only one that has the embossing. I did not add the sticker on this one. Um, instead I just put my own little, um, tape, masking tape with this envelope. I felt like I didn't really need the stickers on this one because I was going to travel with those craft folders. Um, that's again another insert you can purchase. But here you did see, um, you'll see I have these charms, these leather charms added. And again, I got this done at the Time Stationery store. And Sung Jun, the owner, he was so nice to add these on here. And he did it the same. Oh, actually he did it his a little different he got you know I selected which color and then he tied it right here on the loop where this clamp is and then these you know drop down I Okay. Yeah. So you can put some bees inside. Yeah. yeah. And then tie it at the end. Okay. I picked out these wooden beads and then tied it on the end. So this is something that you can definitely do on your own. You don't have to get this done anywhere. You can just go to the craft store, select a nice little thread color of your choice, and some awesome beads. Um, speaking of beads, hold on. I actually, I'm going to go back to, I think it was Hobby Lobby, but I have th this Pandora bracelet that my best friend had gifted me. Um, thanks Stephanie for my bracelet. I love it. I don't even know if she watches all my videos, <laughs> but if she does, she knows how much I love her and value our friendship. But she was so nice to, um, buy me this bracelet. It didn't come with this amethyst charm, but I have like the passport, a little strawberry, a camera and the world. Cause you know, I love traveling. So this was so fitting of me my personality type but I also love um, you know crystals and gems and um, you know power of power uh, law of attraction and energy and what you put out you get back so anyway speaking of you know DIY charms I found this charm at the craft store it um, did not come with this little ring the sterling silver ring but it was at the store as well so I just come I got some pliers and I put this together and I added this to my bracelet because I knew it was something that I would just like love to wear but I, w I went back because I thought it was a great idea 
to add on to my traveler's notebook. I really would have loved that. Well, that one already has so much going on. But I thought about it before I went on my trip, before I had those. Um, so I could have, I could add it to my black one. But, so I went back to get another one, and they were gone. And I haven't seen them since. Um, I'm kind of bummed out about that. But anyway, so yeah, these are all set up differently. Um, my brown passport size, again, this is really plain. I didn't do anything to this. I didn't even add any charms. I think at the time when I was really using it, um, I just cared more for the contents. And at one point, this was my husband, so of course there was going to be like no charms on here. But I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel the need to add anything to it because I was using it as a wallet and I didn't want it to get heavy um, and added bulk even though speaking of bulk I do love the bulk look again check out my playlist because I have all of these videos of like my wallet setup my passport setup my regular size setup it's all there so check it out um, but for the camel passport size I didn't add any pockets again uh, no charms I think because I was trying to baby this and I didn't want any extra scratches so the only thing I did was add these gold charms and a lot of you ask where I get where I get these charms at if they're specifically for Midori and again the only ones that are specific to the Midori brand are the one is just um, this one that I got on Etsy so this is the only like official Midori charm. This one Sung Joon made, again, the owner from the Time Stationery Store in Seoul, Korea. And then again, this these are all DIY charms pretty much, guys. So I encourage you to, you know, be creative, make it your own. These I got from a broken bracelet um, from, I think the, uh, the Lucky Brand bracelet that I had. And I really liked the Four Leaf Good Luck Clover charm. And I always kept it in my jewelry box, and then one day I found uh, use for it. So, yeah, that is it, you guys. Oh, and one last thing. Another way to, um, an easy way to customize your traveler's notebook. Other than the charms on the outside, you can actually customize the elastic band. So this is an insert that I purchased, but... Um, you know, depending on which color you get, they do include like different color bands, one set of band, of band that you can switch out. So I know the camel came with like an orange, um, or you can even use the green. So it makes it really fun and unique. For me, I've been, honestly, I'm just lazy. I just keep the original color on that it comes with. So the camel came with the camel, the brown, you know, came with the brown. Uh, this is the only one, I think it came with the green already on it. I can't remember, it's been so long. But I've just kept that on here. And again, like the black. The black, in it said it comes with the red. Um, and this, I think it came with, was it the green or the orange? I can't remember. I have all my extra accessories in a box. But this is a great way, you know, even if you don't like these colors, you can go to your local craft store, buy like pink, blue, white, um, you know, the varieties are endless. So different ways to set it up. The band, you know, the charms, the insert pocket, the embossing. I've seen people put stickers on here too. I um, am not that bold to put on stickers. And Patrick actually had a good idea and he used leather ink with stamps um, and different designs and he um, stamped them all up on his traveler's notebook so I will I don't know if I'll insert the clip here or if I will link his the Instagram image below but either way um, that was really inspiring to see how he customized his so I'd love to know how you guys have yours customized if you're more about the charms or the bookmarks um, or if you just kind of like it simple and plain, share below. And if you have an Instagram that has how you customize your setup, you know, share it down below for all of us to see. We love when the community gets involved and we all get to meet each other, meet new friends. So as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.